So the next thing is we have to deploy our workers. And it's going to involve the following steps. First of all, we have to install Redis. We haven't done that yet. We're going to configure supervisor, update the .env file so that we're using a new queue. We're using Redis as our queue. Then we're going to verify that Horizon is working as a website. And then we're going to push a test job just to make sure that that whole cycle is working. So up first, we need to install the Redis server. And again, we're going to use the apt package manager to install Redis server with a dash Y. Uh, attribute so that we don't get asked questions and I've already installed it here before but I didn't really show you the command so I wanted to do it one more time if you recall earlier we installed the Redis module for PHP so we just got that installed on the Redis server so let's make sure that everything is working together and we're gonna issue an inline command here there should be now be a Redis class that's available for PHP and because I didn't get any error there I know it's working so for example you know, just to make sure if I change the class name and I run that same command, you see how I got the error there. There's not a class command or there's not a class found for Redis X. All right, the next thing is, is we need to install supervisor. It's not installed by default on this instance. So we're gonna use our package manager to install. Supervisor. And we're all set with that. And just to orient everybody, so supervisor is, is normally installed in, there's a supervisor directory that has a .conf file and a conf.d directory. And if we look at what's in that conf.d directory, it's empty at this point. We wanna put a conf file for our project inside that conf.d directory so that supervisor can read it and then run whatever we say to run. So let's do that next. And we're gonna call this Laravel underscore demo. I'll prefix it with that. And this is horizon. So this is our horizon conf. And I got this pretty much from the Laravel website, but I copied and pasted this in. The only thing I changed was I changed the program name. I used our prefix Laravel underscore demo. And I changed the paths to the code to the correct places. We changed here the user that it's running under. So Laravel underscore demo is what we wanted to use under. And we're putting the log file for this process in our storage slash logs directory. And there's gonna be a file called horizon.log. Those are the only changes that I made. So we're gonna exit out of here. And just to make sure it picks up that new config file, we're just going to restart that service. All right, the next step is we want to update our .env file in production so that it's actually going to use Redis as our session driver and also Redis as our queue driver. So to do that, we are going to switch back to our Laravel demo user. And we're going to go into the home directory for that user and into the code directory. So now I'm in the Laravel app, you can see, and we're gonna, oops, no sudo, but we're gonna nano the .env file. And we're gonna scroll on down here and where it says session driver, now that we have Redis, let's go ahead and set that to Redis. The queue connection, we're also gonna set to Redis. The cache store, we're gonna set that to Redis also. And then we're just gonna ensure here that we're all set up for Reddit. So it's gonna be on the same machine, local host. There's no password set and that's the port. So we should be good to go. All right, so now we're back on our application. This is still functioning, but when I, I wanna open up another tab here. So we're just gonna duplicate this and we're gonna go to slash horizon now because remember supervisor should have started up horizon for us. So this should now be available and it is. So you can see that the horizon dashboard is here. Everything is working. There's one process. And again, horizon's actually configured in our application code. So there's a config slash horizon file. That's where you want to go and do any updates. I'm not going to get into all of that because that's kind of more uh, domain specific to Laravel, but you can see that there is a process set up. It's set up to scale right now. So that if there's more jobs in the queue than it need than workers, it'll scale the number of workers up. So just to test this, I'm gonna put just over to the right here and we're gonna 
bump this over here a little bit. We are going to use Artisan to put a command on, on the queue. And I created a, a test command that queues a job that lasts for 15 seconds. And so that's all this is happening behind the scenes, just a manual way for me to queue a job to see if it works. So after I, I click enter, we should see some activity over here. And so let's go ahead and do that. And so now there's one, there's two processes. And it says one job's already completed, but let's go look. There's no completed jobs yet. And after 15 seconds, that test job has completed. So now you can see that that's functioning. It took 15.03 seconds. So from end to end now, our workers are all set up. So any jobs that get put on that queue, and supervisor will make sure that those jobs get pulled off the queue and actually executed.